The act of taking off consists of a ground segment known as the takeoff roll or the ground run, followed by an airborne segment which is the distance required to reach the screen height. Many factors can affect the takeoff distance. In this video, we will look at four. Number 1. Atmospheric Conditions Ambient temperature plays a major role in taking off. High temperatures reduce aircraft performance as it increases density altitude. This, in turn, decreases engine performance, while aircraft aerodynamics are also affected. Number 2. Aircraft Weight Weight increases the takeoff distance. A heavier aircraft has more inertia, requiring more acceleration and requiring more runway. A heavier aircraft also puts in more load on the ground, increasing the wheel drag, which in turn increases friction. This again increases the takeoff distance. The weight also affects the angle of climb, which requires more horizontal distance to reach the screen height. This is because an increase in weight in a climb increases the horizontal component of weight. This acts against thrust and works more like a drag component. Number 3. Prevailing Winds Airplanes generally take off into the wind. This is because a headwind reduces the takeoff distance. The opposite is true in tailwind conditions. It's important to understand at this point that pilots fly with indicated airspeed or IAS, which is measured by the sensors fixed to the airframe. The density of the air affects the actual airspeed of the aircraft. This is known as true airspeed or TAS. On the ground, the TAS is affected by yet another speed called ground speed. Headwinds reduce the ground speed and tailwinds increase ground speed. Number 4. Runway Conditions and Slope A perfectly smooth runway does not exist, and due to this, there is friction developed between the aircraft tires and the surface. When the runway is contaminated by water, snow or slush, the friction increases a lot more due to fluid resistance. There is also a drag known as the precipitation drag. This occurs as water sprays and hits the airframe as the aircraft accelerates on the runway. The runway slope is another factor. An upslope runway will see the horizontal component of weight act against the acceleration of the aircraft, which increases the takeoff roll. In a downslope, the horizontal component of the weight adds to the thrust, which increases acceleration and reduces the takeoff distance. All of these conditions highlight the reason flap position is important. When flaps are lowered, it increases the coefficient of lift, which allows the aircraft to take off at a lower speed with a reduced takeoff distance. However, flaps increase the drag, meaning that full flaps cannot be lowered for takeoff. Each aircraft has an optimum takeoff flap configuration and is determined during the testing phase of the aircraft. Higher flap settings reduce climb performance, negatively affecting the obstacle clearance. Thus, when a higher climb gradient is required, the lowest takeoff flap setting gives the greatest benefit. The aforementioned conditions can reduce the takeoff performance to the point where safety can be affected, so a pilot needs to realize the impact of those factors before takeoff. WAT, weight, altitude and temperature charts, can be helpful to quickly determine if the aircraft can safely take off from a runway in given conditions. There's more that can be said about this, but in the interest of keeping things short, these are the basic factors when it comes to aircraft taking off. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.